What's going on, my Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what the fuck is popping? What's up? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. To my members only community, mm -hmm, I love you guys. I fuck with y'all the long way because y'all fuck with me the long way. If you clicked on this video, hit the like, subscribe, join. Let those ads play for 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like to book me for a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. If you click on that Super Things button and donate to the channel, your name will go in a drawing for a free 30 minute personal reading with me. What else? This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your coffee, your H2O, your blunt, your spiked tea, whatever it takes for you to tap into these energies, and let's go in, Scorpio. Your first energy is sex. You and your partner will teach each other, teach each other new things in the bedroom. Okay, Scorpio, I like that. Y'all teaching each other things. That's what's up. Oh, then I could. Let me cut off. All right. Overall energy, jealousy. There are people that are not happy about this connection. Okay. Mm. What else? The Scorpio. I'm wondering why six is just the first card that like popped out with this connection. Um, it's giving me more so a chemistry than anything because I feel like that's where the jealousy come come from. Because like, why else would somebody be jealous? They don't know what the fuck going on in your bedroom, Scorpio. They just jealous from the like the chemistry between you guys. That's what I'm feeling like that six card is representing. But anyway. What are the messages here? Whoa. All right. So the overall energy is rejection. You were not rejected. You were you were being protected here. We have emotional intelligence. Understanding your partner's love language and expressing yours will help keep this will help this connection evolve. Absolutely. Like I said, I feel like y'all already got um, great chemistry, but I feel like this is outside interference. So somebody, somebody who got too much fucking time on their hands, somebody who ain't in a relationship, somebody too busy watching your business and trying to take care of your business, because either one, they ain't got no business, or they don't know how to handle their own shit. We have commitment here. You can expect this connection to last long term. Yeah. Cause this person matching your energy. This person either vibrating where you're at or, or a little further. That's all. I feel like it feel right. Reality check. Reality check. Your relationship expectations are not realistic. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, I just feel like you shouldn't change. You know. What your relationship goals are, but maybe you need to tweak them a little bit. Okay, maybe you need to be a little more open here. And if not, shit, don't. Maturity, you can trust yourself at this time, you're ready. Soulmate, yes, this is a, this is a soulmate connection. So we know who he is. So we know who he is. That's just that off that. Somebody coming in to make an offer. Somebody, this is your soulmate. And we have release. It's better to lose them rather than lose yourself. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, Scorpio, whoever this is that's jealous of y'all's connection, um, they can kick rocks, basically, because I just feel like, you know, this this connection was meant to be. And at this perfect time, and like this, this, this it's time for it. Like this is the time, this divine timing. Nothing you can do can stop it. It's heavily protected here. I feel like this is something new and you already know, Scorpio, that this your soulmate. You already feel the difference in this person's vibe and every other person you ever been with in your life. I'm hearing that. Why is sex here for Scorpio? Okay. 
Okay, that wanted to fall out. The lovers. <laughs> I can't make it up. Sex and lovers, yeah. Y'all sex off the chain. That's just that is what it is. It's a it's very passionate. The chemistry is here, y'all. I mean, y'all showing each other stuff in the bed. I mean, hey. What else you want? That's what I call a solid relationship, a solid foundation now. Off the real, in the beginning. What else here? Why is the lovers and sex here? Yeah, these cars want to talk to the Hereford. They want to get married. <laughs> Shit. They feel like they hit the jackpot. Yep, the two of swords, they propose. They want to know what you want to do, Scorpio. They all in. You all in? They want forever the four pinnacles, the overall energy. All they doing is waiting on you to decide, Scorpio, what you're going to do. The ball's in your court, I just heard. You need time and space, they'll do that too. Why is the two of swords here? The nine of wands. Yeah, like I said, this person, they, they're not pressuring you, Scorpio. You know, they know you got boundaries. Either way you want to go with this, though, this person there. They're there for the long run. They're, they're, they're not, you know, they're not coming in just trying to date you or have sex with you. The sex good, that's undeniable, but they love you. They want you. They like everything about you, the chemistry, the connection. They love your company, okay? Why is jealousy here? I'm getting to this jealousy could be a baby mama, a past relationship with your person, Scorpio. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands. This person, this person worked hard on this connection and it, it never bear, um, bore fruit. This person felt worn down and just worthless after they left this person. I feel like too, no matter what they did, it wasn't enough. The Queen of Cups. I feel like, too, even though the person they love did them as bad as they did your person, I feel like they still emotionally attached some type of way. Um, now, the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse, I, I feel like they don't think about this person much, but I feel like if this person in a 3D, then the, the whole story changes. Yeah, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Because I really feel like this your person is real, real live having an issue with, um, like, leaving this person behind. Like, I feel like they go back and forth with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands energy because I feel like they still got feelings for this person. That's what I'm getting. Even though relations, the relationship was tough and hard, I feel like a lot of times this person, your person, Scorpio, start thinking about the time they invested and what all they put into this connection. Okay? Which anybody would. And so now I'm getting that this is the ex of the baby mama that's jealous of y'all connection. She sees that this person um, acts different around you or acts different with you. Why is the eight of swords here? The knight of pentacles. The justice in reverse. The ace of cups. And the magician in reverse. With this um, page of cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This person, too, I feel like they doing spell work. But I feel like this, 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 is, this isn't just a love spell, right? This, this, is about, this is about binding somebody. This is a binding spell I'm hearing. Like, in other words, this, this person trying to wheel every bad thing in love... Anything that would really matter to a person's like their 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 morality or like who they deem themselves to be as a whole, like th th this person, they doing some kind of binding spell where this person just like they stay in the ten of wands energy, they stay in the ten of wands and the queen of swords energy, they just stay right there like they even though it's hard work they can't let go, even if they physical body gone. You know, they, they still, they're still trying to manipulate that situation. They don't want the person, but they don't want them to love nobody else either. I feel like that's the energy, which is weird as fuck.
That Ace of Cups and Justice in Reverse, yeah, that's divorce. That's a divorce. That's a nasty divorce. Why is emotional intelligence here? The Knight of Wands in Reverse. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, this card talk is talking about y'all le learning each other's love language. Yeah, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So with the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, the love, the love language is we keep our love to ourselves. We don't let nobody in this space. Nobody's in this space. Everything we do, we take our time with each other. We make each other feel special and whole. We never tear each other down. We never third party each other. We always communicate about what's going on with us. That's that's our love for each other. Y'all like it. That's y'all love language, communication, period. Everything y'all say, everything that proceed out of y'all mouth is love language. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. A divorce, a definite divorce and ending here. A painful ending, okay? I feel like, too, this ending left somebody left out in the cold. And, you know, I feel like this person having a midlife crisis. They done turn into the Knight of Wands out trying to, you know, sleep with younger women or whatever. Yeah, the temperance card. They took a whole nother direction. They went from stupid to dumber. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They looking for something new. They looking for something that's gonna look like that's gonna mirror what you got, and this is what they're gonna find. The same thing they gave you a heartbreak. Disappointment. Who who they seeking not emotionally emotionally intelligent. Not like your person. I feel like too they try to mimic you, they try to copy you, they try to find you and everybody, the eight of wands. They still looking for Scorpio. Scorpio gone. They're trying to communicate telepathically. Nah, you can't. You block. You really block. Why is commitment here? The hangman in reverse. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. The five of wands in reverse. This person... This person just want to love you, Scorpio. This person wants the next level of commitment. Whatever that means to you. The Seven of Cups in reverse. This person knows they're making the right choice. They don't have to think about it. Everything with you guys just work. Everything just flows like it's supposed to. Like, who, who are they to question? The Six of Cups. I feel like this Six of Cups, it just, it like, it's giving me like, a child like playful love like somebody who just you know they seem familiar to you they finish your sentences you know it just feel like you known them all your life that's what that six of cups is giving me yep and then on the bottom of the deck the ace of swords so i'm telling the truth this isn't this is like past life energy not the past energy. yeah the eight of pentacles i feel like this person is a hard worker I feel like, you know, whatever they got to do to make Scorpio happy, they there for Because they know Scorpio reciprocating the same thing. Like, you know, this person, they just, they love, they love the love, Scorpio. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, they just love how you guys communicate well. How money don't get in the, in the way of y'all relationships, status, all that stupid shit that at the end of the day don't matter. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Meanwhile, your, 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 your ex, they looking for you in all the wrong places, but not setting boundaries. They still really just chasing their fucking tail and keeping tabs on you. They keeping more tabs on you and chasing their tail, tail than they doing anything else. Why is reality check here for Scorpio? Why is re reality check here for Scorpio? The Page of Pentacles. And judgment. So whatever was said had to be said. I'm hearing that. Whatever that message was about your abundance. Or whatever this was. Whatever these court papers is. I feel like I feel like that judgment is just that. Yeah, the judgment like 
the divorce is final, okay? The devil showing up in reverse, which is telling me the person your ex didn't get what the fuck they thought they was going to get. Yeah, the four of pentacles. I, I, I feel like you held on, you get to hold on to most of the assets here, Scorpio. Or if this is just a separation where y'all, you know, living together, I just feel like you keep the spot. Why is maturity here? The chariot. Yeah, you just keep forging forward, Scorpio. You're not letting anything stop you, okay? Jealous people, exes, none of that shit matter no more. You with the love of your life, your soulmate, period. And you realize you had to release a lot of people, even family. You have the Queen of Pentacles. In order for you to mature, be abundant, and start building your own family and your own happiness, you had to release family members. You had to release people telling you about, telling you, you know, about how they, they haven't met their soulmate and how they, this person dogging them out and how this, this, this and that and the third. But you met your soulmate. He, they here. You telling me this ain't my soulmate because you jealous of our connection. Okay, I'm releasing you too. Why is soulmate here? Yeah, this person, this person makes you better, Scorpio. I love that. Yep, the hermit on soulmate. I love, I love that. I love the hermit on soulmate because that lets me know that this person is meeting your energy all the way, Scorpio. This person is very smart. This person a wizard. I'm hearing that. This person is very, 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 very high ranking in spirituality, okay? Don't let them fool you. They're very quiet because they're always fucking listening and paying attention what you need to be doing with this person, Scorpio, okay? Yeah, overall injured the three of pentacles. Yeah, they make an investment. They ready. They ready to collaborate. They ready to build. They know you they wish fulfillment. They know you what they've been praying for all their life. They know God favoring them right now. That's just that on there. And why is release here? The Empress, that's why. <laughs> that's why. What else? So we have the world, the empress, the nine of swords, the three of cups, overall energy on the bottom of the deck, the seven of wands. It just irritates somebody demons that you just, you know, your whole life is good. Your whole life turned around. It, it, it aggravates somebody demons that you actually did the fucking work. That you actually, you stayed in this nine of swords energy a long time. That nine of swords should be Scorpio energy. We always double-minded thinking about shit. We always want to do our best. You release that. This, 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 is, this card is talking about release. The world, release, the end of a cycle. Empress, rebirth. It's talking about birth. It's talking about good shit headed your way. The three of cups celebration. People celebrating you. Good drink, good food. The good life. Bon appetit, I just heard. Everybody can't eat at this table. You got to ask yourself if you're not eating, why the fuck you ain't eating? That ain't a Scorpio problem. That's a you problem. What else? Yo, what I just said. The six of pentacles. You got to ask yourself why you not fucking eating. Because Scorpio, Scorpio, hey, ain't no more give and take. This ain't even about reciprocity no more. To me, this is just about we, we synchronizingly doing the same shit for each other. We done work this shit out. We 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 got our norm. Look, Scorpio, you gonna show up. The death card, you gonna show up in your reading. You releasing. That's who else gonna who else gonna die and rebirth and transform and do all that better than Scorpio? It's all over our reading, cause that's us, all the major arcanas here. Let me get some love angel here. Yeah, that new love stepped in and just 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 changed your life. Yeah, it looked like sex, but it ended up soulmate and marriage. 
Don't judge a book by its cover. And don't listen to what people got to say about other people, no matter they pass or not. You check them out and see, Scorpio. What are the angel messages? Love angel messages for Scorpio. Yo, we out here listening to these hoes who ain't got nobody. And these good men who these other women are straight out out here swimming in the water. And we passing them up too because we listening to jealous bitches telling us about what they did to Boo Boo and, and She She and Ru Ru. Who gives a fuck? Engagement, like I said, moving right along. Not listening not listen to shit y'all saying. Communicating everything with my partner. We, we continuously moving forward. We don't even give a damn what y'all got going on. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, period. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's that's about release right there. That's what, that's what you've been doing, Scorpio. That's why this engagement here. Somebody don't want to live without you. Yeah, you probably could, but you don't want to. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. I doubt it. It came out in the reverse. Scorpio not asking a friend and nobody else about shit. Not when it comes to this, this love relationship. This soulmate connection. We 12 years in and our shit the same. Like, the chemistry the same. We still, we still can't get enough of each other. Like, this shit solid. Y'all still throwing stones. This shit 12 years in, two years, however many. Okay. When I told you. Moving right along. Y'all running y'all mouth. Scorpio running their life. The situation involves marriage. Absolutely. Why wouldn't it? Make the effort on the bottom of the deck. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. Yeah. You got it to love this person. I know you are. Where we at, Scorpio twins? Let's see. All right. Let's get a hidden truth, too, about this ex here. This jealousy. Why, why is somebody jealous of Scorpio finally being happy? Like, years and years of being in a relationship with somebody who's not involving them in a third party. Being in a relationship where when you see them now, they're smiling instead of frowning. Like, who the fuck, who, who hating on that? About to tell you. About to tell you the energy right now. Overall energy, I feel the sexual tension. See, I'm telling you, with your with your ex and with this jealousy shit, that's that's what it is. They call they, they it's they sexual tension. Cause they ain't got nobody to, to release with. See, they mad because Scorpio done met somebody who y'all trying to act like all he want to do is have sex and fuck me and, and throw me to the wayside and not a once in reverse. The bitch on his head. You trying to tell me about this person past, how he did with that woman ain't got shit to do with Matoki. It's a totally different thing now. You know it's that type of energy. Like, come on, bro. You jealous of what? <laughs> I see life differently now. Yeah, when? When you get your shit together, when you stop looking at Scorpio life, then you'll see your life differently. I want to make amends. Now we good. If you seeing your life differently now, we good. That's enough for Scorpio. We don't need to cool by y'all. We ain't got to shake hands, have no drinks with each other. None of that shit. I am in a committed relationship, yeah. And you still worry about this one. You in a committed relationship. Your person you with ain't in a committed relationship. They couldn't be because you two were involved in my shit. Or trying to be. I won't let you down. You seeing life differently. Now you making declarations to me. I don't need to keep it. I miss hearing your voice. I am recovering. I miss seeing you. Yeah. Scorpio cut next. Fucking ghost ain't even a word. It's more like uh, H2O or something. Like some shit evaporating. Like that's oxygen or something. I don't know. Take it out. It resonates. Let's see here. Get some kipper here. That shit a wrap. Where we at, Scorpio? 
So that's the jealousy energy right there. Somebody saying, somebody in a committed relationship, they in a committed relationship, they person not. Okay, that's why they, that's why they harboring so much when they talking to you about this new relationship because they shit crumbling. These motherfuckers can't talk to you about commitment, engagement, and marriage, and you know, somebody who's talking about moving in a direction with you that's, that's never, they, they never even experienced. They don't even know what that looked like. How you telling me it ain't it? You never saw it before. But I'm seeing it. This person communicating everything with me. And to me. What else? Distant horizon. Yeah, I love that energy. Because that's 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 what this person bringing. I feel like this distant horizon is like you begin to travel. Yeah, the pathway on the bottom of the day. This person just... This person opens opens you up to different stuff, Scorpio, but it's all things that you wanted. It's like shit you been wanting to do. And like this person indirectly fulfilling your dreams just being who they fucking are. Ain't that some good shit? Like this person travel all the time anyway. Oh, you want to go to France? I'm going to France next week. Oh, you want to try that restaurant out? Yeah, I eat that probably twice a month. Let's go. Let's do it. They, they like that. Let's do it. They already doing it. I'm telling you, so a person got to be now vibing at least where Scorpio at, but Scorpio pre prefer higher. So they got somewhere else to go. So Scorpio got some more excelling to do. We don't want to just stay right where we at. Privileged lady, hell yeah. <laughs> what I keep saying... What I keep saying, it's too much abundance around Scorpio. I'm in the Kipper deck. I, I ain't pulled out no bullshit yet. Two cards in and nothing bad out the Kipper deck. Where that one went? It was turned down, Scorpio. That's why I ain't taking Courtship. Three cards in and the kill for nothing bad. What else? Tell me soulmate energy. Bad health in the reverse. Toil and labor. I told this person works very hard to make sure that they're providing and doing like they're supposed to do for their family. That's just that on that. On the bottom of the deck, you got main female. You did everything, so I said one more. Gift, yeah. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant. For some of you guys, this person is gifting you with a trip, a vacation, um, a diamond ring or something. I'm hearing anniversary. High honors here. Messages, sudden wealth. I, I still ain't saw a bad card in the deck from the Kipper deck. Y'all know how hard that is to do? That's easy with Scorpio. All right, y'all, I'm going to give y'all some, some rainbows and uh, unicorns for me. What are the messages here? What are the rainbows and the unicorns for my Scorpios? What are the messages here? Yeah, this person, they, this person, they don't play about you, Scorpio. They know who you are. They know how you rank. They don't have a problem with it because they're already ranked higher than you. Like I said, don't send me no more karmas with lessons. Send me a soulmate with my lessons. Send me a soulmate that's going that that has ascendant further than me and is, and is willing to take me where they at and not gonna be jealous. If I'm if I get a little more money than them or a little more stature than them, they're not caught up in that. They caught up in me. What are the messages? Okay, I wanted two and two popped out. Closeness. Your uni your unicorn is so very close to you. Mm-hmm. That's spirit guys, angels. Listening. Listen and listen and the answer will be revealed. Intuition going within. One more. Take the one 
it turned over. Soul's purpose. Act on your soul purpose today. And your overall energy is moving. Change is happening, so be prepared to move physically or spiritually. You know that, Scorpio. That's our energy. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that join button. Become a part of the members-only community. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like to book me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. If you hit on that super thanks button and donate to my channel, your name goes into a drawing for a free 30-minute personal reading with me. What else? Oh, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.